Hi everyone, I want to tell you now something that was purely a chance and that was my involvement in addiction and it came about as we were discussing in a previous part how my late colleague and I became interested in the pain pleasure continuum. Now those who have listened to the other two clips will know that we investigated one end as pain and the other one as pleasure. And then we decided, since there was a link between pain and pleasure, let us now have a look at an intermediary state. And my colleague Fred Lichtigfeld was the consultant psychiatrist at a large alcohol rehabilitation center in Johannesburg. And we decided that we would have a look at the effect of nitrous oxide and oxygen on an addictive withdrawal state, in this case alcoholism. Now I want to clarify one thing. We were looking at an acute withdrawal state, not a cure. We were looking to see whether nitrous oxide would have an effect on alcoholics just after they had been admitted to this home. And much to our surprise, we discovered that the nitrous oxide was able to ameliorate the acute alcohol withdrawal state very rapidly. In fact, within an hour, patients were ready to have the next meal in the ward, which was exceptionally quick because using other agents, it takes two to three days using high levels of sedative medication, whereas the nitrous oxide was able to help these people feel better. And I'm not talking about mild alcoholics, I'm talking about people who were heavy alcoholics and who had been admitted to other centers and came to this center because they had failed everywhere else. And we found that this treatment was vastly superior to the one which uses sedatives and which the patient in which the patient lies abed for two to three days or staggers around under the effect of high concentrations of sedatives. And more exciting to us than anything else was the fact that oxygen was able to help. Oxygen alone, in other words a placebo, was able to help in approximately 50% of cases. So we not only showed that the pain-pleasure continuum had an intermediary state, which was addiction, we then started looking at addiction as a very interesting area between pain and pleasure.